My name is David Hutchinson. I am a broker and team leader in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, I have a team of 17 agents. We have one team operations manager. We have one ISA. Um, and we have our admin staff through our brokerage as well. Um, yeah, our, our team is, is forever growing. We have big goals uh, this year. And honestly, it's, uh, it's quite a challenging task. But with the help of you guys, my life has been exponentially easier and much better. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to do this, David, and for doing a deep dive into your experience with not only us, but follow boss. I'm sure. curious, you may not remember, um, how did you, how did you really originally hear about key technology? Yeah, I've been involved with Inman, the Inman community, and I was an ambassador and still am currently an ambassador for Inman. Um, I go to all their conferences. I'm a big supporter, big fan. And within that sphere of people, um, I met a lot of the people that are also using follow-up boss, which I've been using pretty much since day one. So for seven years now, I've been using follow-up boss. Um, one of the other Inman ambassadors, who's a close friend of mine and also a Canadian uh, real estate agent, he highly suggested your company. And I think one of the major challenges that we face as brokers and, and realtors in, in Canada specifically is that whenever we travel to these American conferences and meet up with American companies, the biggest issue is the compatibility within Canada. I know within you know Canada itself, there's a lot of data privacy laws. So a lot of these big companies aren't able to actually work or run as effectively in Canada. Mm -hmm. And getting a referral to your business from another Canadian was massive because he said such great things about you. And uh, he's actually in a city very close by. So we do touch base all the time. Um, but that's how I found out about uh, your business. Okay. So uh, at the time of going to that conference and talking to this person who referred you, were you using follow up boss at the time or were you using a different CRM? Yep. I've used follow up boss literally since day one. Um, when I joined a team seven years ago, eight years ago, when I joined a team, when I was brand new, the team leader suggested follow up boss. And it's just a system that I've found most effective. I have tried other platforms out there, but I don't think there's anything anywhere near as effective or automated as follow up boss. Um, and I also, and I'm also super tied into the, the, the follow up boss community as well, which I think is all full of unbelievable people. I love the fact that follow up boss is always open to innovations, always open to integrations with other companies. Um, and you know, with companies like yours, you end up making my life a lot easier. So, well, thank you. But I've been a follow up boss user since, since day one, pretty much. Okay. So since you've been using follow up boss for, for so long prior to hiring us, what sort of things had you set up already in follow up boss? Yeah, we, we had our own uh, action plans and drip campaigns set up. However, you know, those, those two take a lot of time. And and as the team grows and as things change and evolve, you know, we face new battles and challenges every single day. And it was tough to constantly be changing and, and worrying about my backend systems and trying to automate everything. So I think as a realtor in general, but, you know, I run a team of 17 agents. I'm also a producing realtor. Um, the, the, ch the biggest challenge I face is I don't want to be sitting in front of the computer every single hour of the day. I do need to be answering, you know, questions and concerns about my team, helping them with their challenges. I also need to be selling real estate. I, I pretty much always have at least one or two active listings, multiple active buyers. So the last thing I want to be doing is sitting in front of my computer screen, trying to change my automations and drip campaigns, make sure they're up to date. Um, and also try to make a living as, as a real estate agent. So that, that was my biggest uh, pain points. I feel like we did have some in place, but nowhere near the level of efficiency and um, you know quality that your service has provided, not even remotely close. Oh, okay. So then can you dive in a little bit about um, explaining to people watching this what, what we did for you in Follow Up Boss, what are the different services we did? Yeah, uh, basically you went into my system, which was amazing. I didn't do anything. That's the best part. As a, as a busy broker, it's, it's very challenging, like I said, to find time to be working on my systems. Of course, that's a part of our job, but if we can outsource that, which then allows me to spend the time doing what I'm best at and, and leave doing what you're best at to, to, you know, for you to be doing, because I'll never be as good as your company as what you guys do. So I may as well outsource that. So that's what I did. Um, uh, basically you went in my entire software for me. You went into my CRM. I gave you all the login information. You set up um, uh, so many different action plan drip campaigns for me, um, which are unbelievable. So 
every single lead source, every single person that comes through our database now, depending on the certain stage they're, they're in, whether which lead source they come from, uh, certain tags that they have, each of those things are very important and crucial to the type of drip campaign that will be allocated to that person. And the best thing about it is a lot of these action plans that you implemented into my software are anywhere from you know, one year to eight years. And I'm a big preacher on this and I talk about it a lot on my social media and I'm actually speaking at Follow Up Boss uh, FubCon as well. And oh, yes, yeah, congrats. Yeah, it's one of, thank you, thank you. It's one of the topics I'm going to be covering is that a lot of realtors are so busy continuously chasing what's new and shiny mm-hmm. because it's it's always in your face as a realtor or a broker that, you know, buy this lead or get more leads free, get this company free. However, within your existing database, you very likely have hundreds of thousands of dollars that are being left there because they're not being properly nurtured. So with the help of your services, we were able to implement action plans so that nobody was left, you know, uh, unspoken to. Uh, the amount actually literally the other day, I'm not sure which action plan it was. I should have, I should look into this. I think it was nurture buyer. One of the nurture buyer emails that got sent out uh, it was unbelievable. And I got, I think it was like six or seven responses from the one drip campaign email that you guys had set up for me, which then activated six brand new buyers that, you know, had been in my database, honestly, since 2019. So these oh, people wow. have been, have been reading my, I shouldn't swear on here, but I'll say crappy. I was going to say a bad word. These people have been reading my crappy emails that I put together myself for years, didn't answer. And then I changed all those people over to your email drip campaigns and within maybe two months of sending those uh, they're already responding to these like super well curated emails which are amazing and, oh, well, and oh. i should i we just implemented texting betty yes which i'm, which I'm super excited about uh, i think they just went live yesterday but i think it's such a great idea because i you know before i was a realtor i really didn't check my emails all that much and if i did it would just be open and i'd probably forget about it but mm-hmm. now with a combination uh, of, of well-curated emails and also very thought-out texts, I, I think the follow-up and, and getting the attention of those leads that are just constantly watching, I think the, the open rate will be significantly higher and, and it'll really you know, dig out some of those uh, little golden nuggets within my existing database for sure. Yeah, yeah. And to your point, you mentioned earlier in the call, Texting Betty was actually originated in Canada, in Toronto. So that's another tool for Canadians out there <laughs> to See? comply in both U.S. and Canada. Um, We're good for so, something over here in Canada. <laughs> yes, I'm excited to hear how that goes. Yeah, that's definitely the goal of coupling both email and text to not only improve open rate, but also to essentially like get responses. Like you mentioned, you got six responses, which is so, so cool to hear the the real live results from that. Um, so you mentioned like you have a team of 17. How has that process gone with them? Uh, have they been using the automations? How has the like onboarding been with them and um, sort of learning learning this new workflow? Yeah, it was great. You know, the nice thing was that once these systems were implemented into my uh, follow-up boss database, I jumped on, I think, at least two calls with your team and they walked me through any questions I had. We kind of catered it to be uh, Toronto, Canada specific and, and not even just Canada specific, but more like very hyper specific to my, my database of existing people and the people that I work with. We tailored it down a little bit. Um, you know, your team sat down with me, answered all questions, which was allowed me to relay that to, to my team. We actually just did a, uh, uh, a video and they loom everything. They, they sent me the Skype or sorry, the, the Zoom and my team was able to watch that and learn. All of my team members use it. Uh, the way it works is basically every every team member of mine is in, in my uh, follow-up boss or they, I pay for their follow-up boss and mm-hmm. uh, they're able to utilize the same systems I have, which is what I love because I think that's a huge value add as a team leader when I'm mm-hmm. trying to recruit you know new agents to, to work with me or even existing agents to work with me. That's a massive value add that I think a lot of realtors and, and broker owners don't have. You know, we have the systems in place where I know a lot of these, um, you know, smaller teams or newer teams maybe don't have that. So by having a massive value out of like almost perfect systems in place to capture these lead, these leads, I think that, again, is such a massive, massive value add to me to help me in my recruiting process um, because mm-hmm. I do um, have, you know, goals on building my team to as, as big as possible. Yeah, sort of dual purpose. You want to grow your real estate business you producing but also you want to build your business by recruiting and you can sort of use that as a value add and 
maybe you're using that recruiting chip or not, but that, but yeah, that's in there too. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so after you mentioned a little, um, a little bit that you did some calls with, I think it was Jenna. Can you yep. share a little bit like what our support was like after we finished the build out as some people, because it's like a one-time fee, some people may be concerned that it's just like, we're done. It's to your own demise. Like we're going, we're out. You've paid us. Yeah. No, it's actually the complete opposite. Um, because we had some systems and, you know, of course, I'm just, I'm assuming maybe some concerns of people, probably the number one concern most people would have would be that they, ha they do have some existing systems in place and they're maybe scared of changing those systems around. Um, working, it was Jenna, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Working with Jenna, we had, I, I honestly think it was probably more than two or three Zoom calls, but we had multiple Zoom calls where we were able to, like I said, take what you guys have already existing, the amazing email, you know, well-curated drip campaigns, but also tailor it a little bit to how we were already doing things. So mm -hmm. it really wasn't a huge change for my team. She took the time to answer all questions, concerns that we literally went through almost every email together and we're like, okay, you know, this might not work for the people that I talked to. Let's change this up a little bit. Um, she, she took the same with the texting Betty. We had a call. She was able to um, implement a few things because the way that my leads come into my system is a little bit different than I think a lot of the um, American users might have their leads implemented. Mm. So we had to navigate around those super minor road bumps, but she was there. We talked, I think we must have sent back 50, 60 emails and plus texts and calls. Uh, the support is, I don't think that there was more than a hour window where you didn't get back to me if I had a question or concern about what was going on. So uh, the support is like 10 out of 10. It's not a, it's not an implement and good luck type thing. It's a, it's a, they get implemented, you know, take the time to read them over as the broker owner. Of course, you have to do your own due diligence, read over what has been implemented in your systems. From there, you can ask as many questions as you want. And then once we had it perfectly curated to exactly how I wanted it and the systems that we had, we then were able to give you the go ahead to turn on all those systems. And um, yeah, from there, it's been pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of that's that popular phrase. What is it? In inspect what you expect. Uh, do do your yes. dil due diligence, like you said. Of course. Yeah. Well, last question for you. I don't want to keep you any longer. If if anyone sure. watching this were sort of on the fence about working with us, what, what would you tell them? Uh, you're losing money every day. You're not choosing to work with this company, honestly. Um, uh, your systems, it's very unlikely that your systems are better than the systems that your company has. Unfortunately, I thought mine were excellent. Um, but the, the time it would take me to implement an actual well thought out, well written eight year long action plan would take me months. Um, and with your company, it took a, less than a week. And again, we, we kind of uh, tailored that in. Not only are you losing money because you're not sending the proper emails or asking the right questions, but it's also so great at helping remind me and my team to consistently follow up with closing anniversaries, birthdays. Um, it, it, the list goes on and on. And, and especially now with texting Betty, I almost wish that I, we did this interview in like two, three weeks because I'm super excited to see how this goes. I think that was a huge hole. And with that being filled, I, I if you're even remotely hesitant about reaching out, the only hesitation I had was being from Canada that I know maybe a lot of Canadians watching this might think that because it's semi-American, uh, it works perfectly in Canada. There's no issues whatsoever. The language is the same. There are actually probably at least 15 or so more campaigns that are actually directed for Canada specific. Um, so it's not all American language. There's tons mm -hmm. of Canadian language and it works perfect. So my advice is, Every day you don't decide to sign up, you're 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 losing money, honestly. Yeah, well, maybe we can do a part two. Maybe after a couple Let's months or so, you use texting Betty. I would love to have you back, maybe, and you can talk specifically to to that because people are not only curious about follow up, but there's all these extra tools and integrations, and especially from the Canadian cool. perspective, like you said, of how how that's working for you. For sure. Yeah, we should do a part two. We'll do a texting Betty follow up for sure. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you, David, for your time. Hopefully I'll get to catch you in passing at FubCon and meet in person. And I really appreciate your time today. Yeah, anytime. And honestly, I appreciate you so much. And uh, again, I, if I could give you guys a, a million stars, I would. It's uh, You have such an amazing company, great idea and uh, great support, great people. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much.